为何耶？Resources we created. Why they didn't want to see black families together? Would it be too strong with two parents at home? Young nigga, better listen to this pimping. Don't you ever let the police get you slipping. Fuck playing with guns. Educate yourself, not lead your sons. You gon' treat your lady right if you respect your mom. Otherwise, treat the opposition how it comes. You're only a slave if you think you're one, nigga. Yeah. Grind hard for the culture. They placed us behind, so you know we gotta get back. It's a lot of things that you gon' face in this world when your skin color is black. Grind hard for the culture, they place us behind, so you know we tryna get back. It's a lot of things that you gon' face in this world when your skin color is black. I had a dream like Martin. I hope I live it out. Black on black crime. It's a new time. It ain't just the opposite. I gotta watch mine. They smile in your face. Hey, Coach B Park. Hey, what it do, man? It's your girl, Lil Chad. Yay. Hey, 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 man. Happy New Year. Y'all know what it is, man. Tonight we talking black business spotlight on the HOG podcast show, man. Black I'm business. Chad, uh, it's your boy CEO Gotti. Hey man, y'all already know it's a damn fool financially in the building, man. What's happening, man? You know what's going on. Look, it's three things we gotta do before we get into that content, man. One of them is stay prayed up. The other one, stay papered up. And you know we gotta stay pulled up, man. Stay pulled up. Yes, sir. Sure. <laughs> hey, now tonight we have to happen to have a special guest in the house, man. He's from across the seas, man. Got a way of the states. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna let him introduce who he is, and then we're gonna get into what he do and what he can provide to the motherfucking world. What they do, brother? What's going on, man? First off, I like to thank y'all for having me on the podcast. You know, I like what y'all are doing. Y'all are doing good things doing things for the community and seeing that y'all come out of different types of backgrounds and still pushing for the same thing. That's a wonderful thing. You know, so cheers. Once again, cheers to the HOG podcast. Yes, sir. Please believe it. Hey, man. Uh, the young man on the screen go by the name of Chud, man. He located out in Germany. You know what I'm saying? Tonight mm -hmm. we're going to be talking black being the spotlight and getting into what he do on the business side of the thing mm -hmm. right on the HOG podcast, man. Go tag an artist, tag a preacher, a missionary, you know, <laughs> get them in the building. You know what I'm saying? We're yeah. going to add highlight, add followers, add all that. You know what I'm saying? Tag everybody about their business. So what y'all what weekend, like, what y'all kick off like, man? Cause we kicking it over here, man. We doing it big. Before we get into this lovely conversation, man, we want to make sure that our supporters uh, pay attention to the star support system that we have uh, for the HOG podcast show. What the mm -hmm. star system do is help us provide different gifts and give back to things and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, on Facebook. Let them know Facebook. Uh, merch, all that different type of stuff. So tap in with the stars, John, if you can. If you can't, you can always hit us at dollar sign Jackie Sun 83. That's a cash app, man. Yes, you need donations. Welcome to the thing, man. Welcome to the thing. I'm trying to get the posters up in there. Hit that horn, there. Hit the horn. Hit the horn. horn, man. But while we paused off, man, look. Uh, being that we got two brothers from the same area on the screen, man, I want to kick it off like this right here, Chuck. 
uh how how did you connect how did you and got to connect and what makes y'all collaborate as often as y'all do right straight up we actually connected because we were told about each other in on the club scene you know we were out doing our thing and um one one of the OGs, one of the brothers, he was like, look here, man, you ought to hook up a homeboy over there. He's straight up. He 100. And, you know, mm. I checked him out. I didn't really go over and just, you know, holler at him right away. And evidently, he had been told the same thing about me. And um, he was checking me out, you know, seeing what's going on, how I move. And um, with, over time, we was like, we, we spoke. We got together. And mm. once we spoke, it was a mutual thing because we knew, I knew he was 100. He knew I was 100. And, um, it's been what it's been ever since. It's her. That's what's up with it. One thousand, maybe one thousand. <laughs> you know. you yeah, like yeah for real, one thousand all day long. Now do you feel like he put that all in the nutshell, bro? Put it all in the nutshell from my side. It, it, I was seeing them pop up at events and stuff that you know, in, in the place that I was trying to help them grow, and he was popping up. You can tell somebody's just different. You know what I mean? You can tell. <laughs> Already, yeah. See, yeah. he could he could have been in there uh, chilling and kicking it, but he he like Batman. He you see him, and then you don't. <laughs> that was, uh, okay, that's like, something, something going on with him, man. Mm -hmm. I, that, that's like, that's my attention, right? <laughs> Straight up, man. And then, uh, uh, yeah, of course, we gotta talk about Crush Groove, man. DJ Crush Groove, yeah. Already, like, hey, hey that's you. Right there. You don't know, you don't know him. We gonna get our way up in it. Crush yeah, Groove. Who is Groove? Groove. DJ Crush Groove, man. Who is yeah. DJ Crush Groove, man? He's a guy who does a lot of things, you know, over here in the community, bringing a lot of the young cats together, giving them opportunities in the studios. He produces, make beats, but at the same time, he's a veteran, you know, mm -hmm. a combat veteran at that. And he um mm -hmm. he takes and he makes it a point to hold hold it down for the youth, you know, give them opportunities mm -hmm. that a lot of times they don't get, you know. And that was one of the things that we all had in common, you know. When we look at Gotti, we look at Crush Groove and things like that. It's just really trying to make a better way for the young people that a lot of times don't have the proper guidance. That's what yeah. And when you're speaking of proper guidance, in what direction is you talking about? Is it music? Is it entertainment? What is it? It's really all around, you know, being based off of a lot of people, they try to go in one direction. But really, there's a lot of directions to go into as long as it's a positive direction, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's a thing about finding out what that positive, what that proper direction is for that person, you know? When you talk to someone, you ask them proper questions, you listen to them speak, you begin to find out things about themselves that they may not yet know. And then mm -hmm. if they're listening to you, you can make suggestions. I don't get into telling someone what they should do, but I do believe in if they asked, to give them a suggestion, you know, and share opportunities and say, have you thought about this? You know, yep. but you know that I know you might want to make money, you know, um, or make your income with something like selling music. But maybe right now you need to learn more about music and watch mm -hmm. the issue somewhere. Or maybe you need to take and do something like um, sell some cups, you know, mm -hmm. something to motivate them to get them to want to move to that next level. Right, mm -hmm. and then you put them on what you want to put them on. It's crazy that's how the world works, but that's yeah. how it go, though. You know but, what I'm saying? And, and uh, yeah. <laughs> for me, I, I was I was a loose cannon. Like, I, when somebody crossed, okay, I'm doing music, I'm doing a little business, I'm loose cannon. Somebody crossed me, I'm posting your picture, talking bad about you on social media. <laughs> and and, and like, like he said, he's like, hey, uh, you, you might want to take that down. He ain't tell me to take it down. Hey, you <laughs> might want to. Certain hey, people yeah. have eyes on you, and you know what I mean. Yeah, you you shout really out the, shout out to our folks in the building, man. Emmett William Jr., what's happening, brother? Emmett in the building, Randy Smith, what they do, my guy? Oh, we got me for shit. Already. Yeah, where's me for shit? Hey, you tuned into the no, HLU podcast show. We're talking black business spot night tonight, and we happen to have a business man from across the seas, you know what I'm saying? Over in German, go by the name of Chubb. So we finna hop into this motherfucking content real quick, man. Um, let's 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 stop, let's top it off with, or start it off with, uh, what inspired you to create this app, the Chub app? 
that we speak about every Friday. Mm-hmm. Okay, sounds good. Well, the biggest thing that inspired me to create the app was I have a record company and a publishing company also. And one of the things that would kind of aggravate me was when we would take and we would release new music yeah. and spend our money to promote that music and get that music out to the public, Amazon, iTunes, you know, and the larger platforms, they were keeping that income. They were keeping that money, you know, because they was keeping that customer, that fan base. Okay. So my thing was to say, look here, let's find out a way so we can keep our fan base opposed to spending money on something and promoting something that we could not um, touch. So can y'all still hear me? Because I'm not hearing anything right now. Okay. Okay. So that was a big thing for me because I was like, okay, we're going to spend money and we're going to put money out there. We should be putting money out there that we can get a return on that investment as well, just like they are. You know, we're spending money on on platforms to get that reach. When we would reach those people, it was a one-time thing. The next song, the next album came out, we had to spend that money again. So I was thinking, okay, how can we do something that's going to be good for our community, for our people? Anyone who was supporting us or who are supporting us to where they'll have something from that. And then we turn around and say, what can we do for the artists as well? So that once we reach a certain fan base for them, that we can reach that fan base again and again and again. Right. You know? Yeah, fine. So then we don't have to spend the money twice. But it's like going shopping. It's like going to a store. When you go to a store and you stand in front of that window, well, let me back up a minute. You're walking down the street. What's going to cause you to stop in front of a particular store? Mm -hmm. Once you stop in front of that store and you're looking in the window, what's going to cause you to go inside? And once you go inside, what's going to cause you to touch something or to stay inside, to buy something, but once you buy something, what's going to cause you to come back? Right. What's going to keep you around? You see? So I was watching artists that had a, a problem also. And one of their large problems was they may put out an album or put out a single. But once they put that single out, it could be that someone hears that one single and judges that artist off of that one particular single. Mm. Now, they may not go back to the artist anymore because they heard one single and it didn't fit. But by having a platform with multiple players, multiple artists, models, dancers, musicians, and everything that's in that platform, there's something for everybody. So if they don't like a particular song or a particular sweater or whatever they came for, it's a lot of things to keep them there. So they keep coming back, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so that was the thing to make me, in in, in a nutshell, to make me feel that. Good enough for me, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, so that, that is that is the main purpose of the app, right? That's, that's the, main the main purpose thing. of the app. Okay. The so, main purpose of the app. Well, I wouldn't say the main purpose of the app, but it is a, a, a really strong purpose of the app. Strong? Because so, What would you say the main one is? The main purpose? The main purpose of the app is really to give back to everybody, was to create a win, 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 win. A four-way win. You see, I, I took the idea for the app from a lot of different things. When you go shopping, you know, you go to the store, you know what you're going for. You're going to buy something to eat or whatever the case may be. You spend your money, you get it, you go home, and you win, and the business win if you got good products. You go to a club somewhere, you go out to party, you know, you buy your drinks, you spend your money. The club, they make their money. You go home. Hopefully, you had a good time. But what about the rest of the business? What about the interaction? What about your personal interest? So my idea was we're going to take and build an app so that the user in the app can have a great user experience, can learn about a lot of new things, a lot of new products and things of that nature. And not only learn about products, but be able to participate or be able to bring input into a special community. Now, that's the consumer portion, but now we have the business side of it. Businesses that support that, sponsors, 
um, advertisers or whatever the case may be, when they come in, they can also profit from being a part of that community because they reach other businesses, they reach other companies and things of that nature, right? They reach private people, they reach the end user. Everybody's inside of that community. Then we go back to the artists, the entertainers. The entertainers, because they're inside of that community, they have something special because they can reach out into a community they can see, feel, touch, that they can chat with directly and the app was created without an algorithm. So being that the app doesn't have an algorithm, anyone that posts, everything they post will be seen by everyone that has their notifications on, right? And um, then there's the company side for the Chub Show itself. The Chub Show, I see the Chub Show separate from myself. Yes, I'm the owner, but I'm just a member of that community as well. And by being a, a member of that community, I get to see what everyone else in the community sees and feels what everyone else feels in the community. If something doesn't work, I feel that too. When people come to our events, you know, when people come to our events in a private space, you know, they can actually come in and shake my hand. And for me, that's very, very important. Yeah. Because if you go into, I won't say any names now, but you go to these major platforms that got billions of users, when is the last time that the owner came to you and said, hello, how you doing? It's nice to meet you. Thank you for being here. Let me give you a drink. Come with me. Let me show you something. It doesn't happen. But in our exclusive events, that happens. And we have people inside that their mission is to make sure you have a good time. Mm -hmm. So everybody wins. Yes, sir. So, um, what what audience do you target for this app? The audience is normally eighteen and up, and the audience is normally chosen based off of the type of entertainment that we're providing at that time. So, say if we're doing a party and it's a sixties, a fifties, sixties party, seventies party, whatever, we're going to attract that group. Maybe we have artists because we, being that we're in Europe, it's interesting also. We may have an artist that's from um, Hungary, from Turkey, from Spain, from Italy. So they're going to attract that group also. We may attract the Asian communities as well. So we're attracting the different um, communities and groups inside. But as far as the age group, we're doing, we're focusing on 18 and up. We want adults inside, you know. Not to forget those that are 70 and 80 years old. They're still alive and they want to party too. They want to have a good time. And if they can't dance, they really like to have a cup of coffee or tea or beer or something and sit around and look at what's going on. Right. Hey, man, all nine of y'all that's in the building, man, y'all hit that like button, that share button, man. Hit these folks in tune with this, mm -hmm. this informative game, you know what I'm saying? Make so sure y'all subscribe on YouTube. Close your mouth and open your ears tonight. <laughs> informing, uh, uh, informative uh, conversation, for real, though. Like, you know, for artists that's out here that's really taking their business the right way and really want to step out and do something outside the comfort zone, this is how you do that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go to the other country if you don't want to, if you're scared of heights. But this is another way of getting your music to an outlet that, that'll be in these areas that you're not in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. Hey, hey, so right. take it, so take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I think I got a good question. I got a hella good question. And it's gonna help me, and it's gonna help me with some shit I'm working on for school right now too. <clears throat> Sounds good. Real Let's shit. get it. Real shit. Real shit. How long did it take you to develop the app from concept to launch? Honestly, because of the way I work, <laughs> 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 it took me actually. Hmm, I'm gonna say about eight weeks. Okay. okay. About eight weeks, you know. Eight. But the, the thing was, now that was the actual work. Now I have to give a disclaimer because I'd already built the app in my mind before I started working on it. Mm -hmm. So actually, the app concept—I had the app concept and the business concept in 2014. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. That's uh, that's cool. 
Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? But you know what? What I you know what I'm what I'm what I'm learning and what I'm realizing as I'm you know I'm digging in to like you know because I'm trying to do like and my brothers don't even know this but I'm gonna tell you this because I like you know I like your answer and it, it it motivated me to tell you share something. So what I'm looking to do right now that I ain't told my brothers is I'm looking to figure out how to connect accounting to supply chain management in a way that people have never seen before. Yes, sir. Right. So Sounds I, good. You know what I'm talking about? Because, right. Because when you, because yeah, it, it's, it's like creating the app, right? It's like what That's you right. did. Right. Take a lot That's of right. work. A lot of work because this yep. shit ain't even, it ain't never even been heard of before. Exactly. And, and you just said something. That's right. You know, because that's one thing right now, they didn't know where to put to categorize this app yet. So it's in the category of a TV station and a radio station. But because of the functionalities with it being on TV, with it being mm -hmm. an app, having podcasts, having streaming capabilities and everything else, yep. and, and messaging, yep. they had to open a new category basically exactly. for me. You know, yeah. so. And you're doing yeah. it. You're doing it the right way. Yeah, that's right. called that's called innovation. Yeah, man, innovative. Those of you that, are, that, are, that are studying, it's called Thank innovation. You, hey, all of them, all of them, y'all get in there, like yeah, man. section, subscribe section, man. Look, I love this type of conversation because I like, I like, to pick, I like, I like to pick the brain of people that that are that are doing things that I'm trying to do, and I I think. Mm -hmm. When I, when I looked at the, at, the, at the app in general, I was like, man, there's a lot of stuff on this app. But I know you gave, oh, yeah. us, gave us a little bit of, you know, access, you know, different from everybody else. So I could see that. But it's just like, you know, having yeah, it, actually, I appreciated it, number one. You yeah. know, and then it was like, you know, just the fact. To I look got a question at, after him. <laughs> everything that's there. It's like, okay, like he thought of everything, bro. Like he thought of everything. You know, thank so, you very much. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a lot more to come. There's a lot of things that I haven't put in the app yet because um the developers are having a, having trouble sometimes getting things to really work. Like when I first mm -hmm. put the app out, it took them six weeks to understand what I was trying to tell them. Right. Mm -hmm. So I was doing things and they were trying to figure out how did you do that? Right. Mm -hmm. And so I had explained it to them. In a, in a different way several times before they can figure it out. So there's going to be more coming in the app. So I'm looking forward to y'all getting y'all feedback when I add these new features. Okay. Okay. So okay. I got a question. So as far as anybody doing, let's not just say music, but any type of business that they have going on, and you you know, you see different people do like food, music, different things on, on all of these platforms, Instagram, stuff like that. Uh, what's how how is the right. Chub Show app different from those platforms as far as marketing yourself? What's the how right. how do you how is the uh, difference? You know, mm -hmm. so very good question. Thank you for asking that. That because that's mm -hmm. one of the things that was very very important to me when you go into a platform and maybe you're going in there and you're going in as an artist or maybe you're going in as an accountant or you're going in as uh, uh, someone who does fine cuisine or something. But then you get inside and you can't see what you're looking for because there's so many other things in there that blocks you from actually being able to see what you want to see, it distracts you, and you lose focus on what you're trying to do. Right? Mm -hmm. So what we've done, we've created groups in the app. So you go into a group and the group is particularly just for artists. Maybe there's another group that's there and it's only for cuisine. And the only thing that should be posted in that group is something for cuisine, you know, um, or something for accounting or whatever the case may be. But now, once you're in that group, everything you post will be seen by everyone in that group that has notifications on. There is no blockage. You don't have to pay for any advertisement to be seen. Whatever you do, whatever you post, because the app is supposed to be an opportunity that makes an evil and an even playing field for everybody, right? 
So, and by having that even playing field for everybody, it is kind of a game changer because now it's not that person that has the money to reach people, it's the person that has the ideal, the talent or that catchiness that can say, you know what, I've got something, look at it and check it out. In, in that group, you can still post videos, you can post links, and people can see who you are if they like your content, and it's up to you what you share. Whether it's a complete profile with your, your name, telephone number, address, whatever you want to share. Videos, pictures, you can add all of that as well. So it's really just a more balanced app in that area with those groups, and it gives each individual the opportunity to show who they are and what they want to do and be seen by that group that they want to be seen by or either visit the group that they want to see. Hey, so I want to ask you this. Do you feel like some of the differences that you may experience with this app is because the area that you're in, like in Germany? Actually, I haven't noticed anything based off of one particular place because I get messages from Japan, from Korea, from um, Taiwan, from okay. Turkey, from all over the place, from all over the world. Like, because of the TV show, the TV show airs in more than 130 countries. And because of that, people come from everywhere and they use the app alike. I haven't noticed any difference until now. Okay. Look, man, I, we, we're going we're gonna to hit you with one more before we take mm -hmm. a commercial break, you know what I mean? Uh, yes, sir. Can you give us a brief walkthrough uh, of the user experience of your app, the Chubb Show app? Sure. Enough. Yes, sir. So starting out with the app, for the new user that comes to the app, that wants to come in, and they want to say, you know what? What is this? How do I use it? How do I get started? The only thing that's needed, I mean, it's real expensive now. It's really, really expensive. You know, for y'all, it's really expensive, right? It costs you your email address and whatever name you put on over the password. That's it. Email address and the password, you get started for free. You know, you use that app. Now, once you get into the app, you can begin to look around and find out what type of services that brought you in either, or you can be a little curious and go through and find out, okay, what is it that I have not seen yet that I would like to see? And um, for that, we've got, as they've already mentioned, we've got the groups, we've got an area for announcements, we've got a directory where you can find everybody, you can follow other users, we've got a forum, we've got different TV channels or stations, there's in-app chat, you know, and services. If someone even wants to book services with me to get an appointment with me, I've made it so that I'm accessible. I don't want to be like other platforms where you can't reach the people in the office. Over here, you can reach people. If you've got something, you can write or you can call. I pick up the phone. Now, if you're a company that keeps calling me like every few days and says, hello, may we speak to Rodney, you know what I mean? But yeah, other than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up, man. Hey, we're going to keep it off on that thought right there. We're going to take a quick break. Pay some bills. We'll keep, be right back. Y'all keep it locked, man. Yes, sir. Thank you being the spotlight. HOG Podcast Show. We're kicking back with Chug. Go and pop your popcorn. <laughs>
What's up, what's up, it's CEO Gotti. Just talking to the club owners out there, over here, Germany, United States, no matter what country you are in, I am working a deal for Bulk Designs. So Bulk Designs, you'll get your design for the entire month if you're really active on the club scene. Your entire designs for the entire month in two to three days. You know what I mean? Real quick, like, really don't waste time. You get your details together. Shoot me what you need, and I'll get you together real quick. But that's only at Bugatti Visions. It's the only place where you're going to get this type of service, that type of speed, that type of quality. You heard me? All right. <music> Hey man, hey man, welcome back yes, to the podcast show. I know what it is. It's I didn't know. Spotlight tonight, and we talking to Mr. Chubb, man. Now they know, man. Look, before we get back into the content, <laughs> we're going to do our town business spotlight, which goes to the man on the screen, Chubb out there in Germany for creating the Chubb Show app. Man. Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right there. He, he, he the horn for the Chubb Show. the horn. Out. But Get I'm all the horns. Get uh, all the horns. So, <laughs> hey, glad you guys Okay. A round of applause too. Appreciate your stuff out in the world. You don't even gotta go to Germany. All you gotta do is expensive, like he said. You just email in the passcode for free, man, and get in tune with the Chub Show app. Get your music yeah. out of your comfort zone. Everybody around you gonna say you bumping if you from a small town or if you from somewhere that's kind of right. step outside the box. Uh town business spotlight goes to Chubb show app tonight. Also, <laughs> I got my cousin Morgan out there kicking it in Montego Bay right now. You know what I'm Montego saying? Bay. Yeah, she had to kick it in. Wagwan. This Sunday, the 31st. So shout out to her. Also, shout out to my sister, my baby sister. T baby G, you know what I'm saying? Big T. Her birthday just passed this week on the 23rd of March. She turned the big three six, man. So oh, it's all bless. The blessings. Hey. Hey. Check it. Check it. I got I got a little town spotlight. Uh -oh. Auntie. Out there in Flint, Michigan, man. Shout out Flint, Michigan. You did. Preach. Hey. Like a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. My Maji, she was uh she was giving uh the woman's empowerment award. Oh, 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 oh. nice! Congratulations! Congratulations! Bombs! I want to cook bomb one time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out to Auntie Man. Uh, we're gonna keep it hog. Yeah, she been oh, yeah, volunteering you know in the community. She been volunteering in the community. 
You mm-hmm. know, I mean, if y'all don't know, man. Flint, Flint still going through that water crisis. If y'all mm-hmm. don't know, yeah, you feel me? My auntie been like one of one of the ones on the forefront of trying to get that shit solved. That's what mm-hmm. I'm saying. Shout out to her, man. Oh yeah, shout out to my auntie, man. What's her name? Shout out, Margie Wilkins, man. Margie Wilkins, shout out to you. Shout out to the city of Detroit. That's right. Shout out to you. Congratulations. Hey, great thing. But well, back into this. Chubb, Hold Chubb. on, I got some birthday too. Got some little birthday. Chubb, you, got some birthdays? <laughs> you know what? I got I got something. I wanna I got some I wanna shout out. Yeah, shoot it out. I wanna shout out the H O G podcast. Hey, y'all mom. some talented guys, man. I'm telling you. Hey, it's mom. like uh, what y'all doing. Hey, appreciate it. You know, because y'all keeping it real, you know, y'all get to it, y'all run a professional show, y'all doing great things. Appreciate y'all. Man, and then, artists. Hardest podcast on the planet, man. You, know you I mean? already know. <laughs> and, and then if I can do that one thing that they always make jokes about before a long time ago yeah. on TV. Hi, mom. <laughs> What's up, <laughs> mom? <laughs> no, that's dope. Hey, let's go, 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 let's I want to let the world know this right here. Everybody that's tuned in, shout out to the Hogs and Hogs, man. Listen, everything that we play on our commercial breaks is us. We're sponsoring us. So yeah. CT Interior Detailing, mm-hmm. that's the service that you can get with shampoo, interior, and your car. You know From who? So nice. From Tell Tell. Nice. Also, everything that was played within that video has something to do with everybody that's on the screen or somebody mm-hmm. we connected to. So shout yeah, out to everybody that's doing their thing. The video director that uh got it part posted that's in the comments. Yeah, yeah. Sergey. Shout out to big art out there in uh, Germany, you know what I'm saying? Chub show, the guy that create the outlet for the culture, you know what I'm saying? Not saying yeah. you gotta be black to be on it, but he created it for the culture, man. It's a different thing. Like you we show so much love to Facebook and TikTok and stuff like this. So it's just as simple as just signing up with an email and a password. That way you'll be able to get everything he got going on over there in Germany. Also, the HOG podcast uh, show episodes. Also, hey. links to graphics right. and all type of other shit, man. Yeah. Hey, and I, w- hey, and I wouldn't be that damn fool financially if I didn't tell you motherfuckers, hey, man. <laughs> Facebook is worth one point three trillion dollars, man. That's right. Y'all seen that shit? That's yeah. right. Yeah. The shit, shit is worth one point three trillion fucking dollars, man. So fuck yeah. why the fuck? Why the fuck? Why the fuck right. can't we run our man up like that? Why yeah. can't we run yes. the Chub Show app up like that? <laughs> why can't we club that? that like that? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, Mark, Zucker, Mark Zuckerberg didn't do for everybody. But I guarantee, but I guarantee you, out of that 1.3 trillion, probably about yeah. 800 billion is from fucking black folks. So hey, yeah. do the math, yeah. motherfucker. Right. Do the math. Yeah. 1.3 yeah. trillion minus 8 billion. And you, and you ain't, you know, the or even even the origins of that was uh, collegiate. You know what I mean? It, it was in a space where most black people don't even get to make it to. You so did. this time you ain't even got to make it to, and you can still oh, be a man. part of it. And it's a part of yeah, us. Was he at Stanford, Harvard? Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. Ivy League fucking college. That shit. Y'all, let, y'all, <laughs> y'all letting y'all letting this white boy y'all letting this white boy <laughs> from the Ivy League really rule y'all life right now. He done made up. one point three. He he, bro. You do do you you do realize that if Facebook is worth one point three trillion, Zuckerberg is Facebook. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. Let's. I'm I'm putting this financial shit out there because yeah. we got we got Chubb right here, and like the the opportunities are endless for what he done put <laughs> together. You see what I'm saying? Like it's endless. You can do. You can do everything you need to do. Put your videos out. Put your music out. You see hey. what I'm saying? Put your cuisine. Hey, but put, you put, know what? Put, you can, put, hey, you put, can put quit. Your videos out. You, you can, can clean your chitlins on the app. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. They ain't going to understand it. They ain't going to understand it. Fuck TikTok. The Chub Show app. You did? 
That yeah. don't understand. You heard me? Fuck TikTok, man. man. The Chub Show app. This you gotta, you, you gotta yeah, put gotta, the bodies, man. I got it. Uh, you you gotta, you, you gotta put the bodies behind it, man. Dude, bodies you gotta, gotta be behind it, us, man. Can what you, you say, Chuck? Uh, you, you gotta put the uh, people behind uh, it, bro. Banner across the screen. We had a spell and chub show up. So for the people that's probably first time looking at us or anything like that, that's how you spell it right there. You go to your uh, app store on your iPhone, your smartphone. Most of all, you broke motherfuckers got them right now. So go there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, subscribe to the Chub App Show, man. That's where you can get the best content. There you go, right there. He got the, see, he got the picture on there. You go to the website too. Go to the website. Now, if you can't no get the app. You got the computer. Go to no all of them. On that now. We ain't got no Twitter X or nothing like that on there. You go there. We 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 popping hard, and, and he out the country. He a black own. He it's a black own app. So. And it's free, you know what I'm saying? All oh, it takes hey, is a couple of hey, seconds. hey, and another yeah. thing, man, for all y'all HOG fans that yeah. love HOG content, my man done put all the HOG content, even the old right. HOG content, all of them on the Tub Show app, man. So, y'all, all, tap all the episodes, in, man. ain't no, ain't hey, no, excuse. Dude, we gotta do some incentive, <laughs> man. man. We gotta do some incentive. Look, this is how we're gonna do this shit tonight, man. To see how real y'all is, if y'all house and how it's for real. The first person that can tag, I mean, five. Go download that. Five. App. Yeah, the first person that can download first that. Five. Five. They do five. First five. five. We'll do the first five. The first five that can download that app. What we gonna do? We give it. We giving the HRG podcast hey, shirt, hoodie, hat, whatever. Y'all yep. know how we do. The first five people that go and download that app, screenshot it to the HOG. Travel blogging page at Facebook. Hey, but I'm gonna put I'm it up in the comments. I'm further, right? So I'm gonna pull it up in the comments. For the first five, we gonna get y'all exclusive merch. Mm -hmm. exclusive, exclusive merch. Exclusive. Because we putting, because right we putting together hashtags with our sayings on the podcast. Mm -hmm. up. So hey, you gonna have exclusive merch. Your hashtag might be. Something that Cho Cheddar said, or mm -hmm. your hashtag might be something that Financial Lee said, yep. or your hey. hashtag might be something that CEO Gotti said. Man. If, so it ain't, if it ain't snowing, <laughs> if I so said if it ain't snowing. <laughs> <laughs> so look, y'all make sure y'all do that. Pay attention, man. Follow directions. Yeah, man. Pay attention. We, 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 we should do. Download the Chub Show app. Mm -hmm. Download the Chub Show app. Mm -hmm. Is exactly like I'm saying it. The Chub the Show the screen, app is floating around. Is at the bottom of the screen. The Chub Show no app. Cap. Download <laughs> it. Shoot us the motherfucking screenshot that you downloaded it. The first five, and y'all get the exclusive merch, man. Look, I, that's a at, promise. At that's nice. That's real nice. Appreciate y'all. That's Travel real nice. So Make me want to go and kiss them. Shoot that too. Shoot. Hey, y'all know. <laughs> hey, we we tagged all over the place, man. I got my Instagram DM is open. My Facebook DM is open. Download the app. Download the app. Shoot us the screenshot, mm -hmm. and we in the game, baby. Yes, sir. You see it on the screen. In case you want to know what it looked like, right? That's right on the screen. Google Play. I, appreciate y'all, man. Let's love. Let's get HOG get all day. Yeah. That was it. Appreciate y'all, hey, man. Go. Let's get back into that app, though. So wait. Yeah. Uh, hold, on, hold on. I got a couple birthdays. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I got a couple classmates that got birthdays. Shout out to uh, Orion Trailer, my homie. Yeah. He just turned four, he, hit the forty-five. Yo, man, you uh, ain't looking at the Facebook, nigga. You don't know that. Yeah, of course, of course. I'm too old to be. <laughs> You, you used to have a Rolodex or something. Nope. Uh, my homie, uh, Devontae McCary, he just hit the B42. Devontae. Yeah, he got on here. I ain't gonna shout out to everybody now. I don't, I don't know if all y'all yeah, like that. Uh, shout out to, to the homegirl, Fabi, out here in Germany. She just hit 36. Couple of, mil couple of military brothers, Jamal Alford and uh, Cal Watkins. I got so many people that got birthday right now. It's crazy. <laughs> hey man, shout out to the oh, and, uh, my homie Jerry. Shout out to my homie Jerry's Jerry's Carolina. He just had a birthday too, and, and he's gonna be on the International Artist Showcase. By the way, 
So he flying right. out for the space to be a shout part out. of that. And shout out to Kev, that dude. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a shout out. Kev, that dude. He just had a birthday too, and he doing uh he doing you know his business too. He got a barber shop. He just opened up. Right. And shout out to right. my cousin right. PCH, right? the only black dude named Tchaikovsky. I know. Uh, I'm finna PCH, my cousin. Yeah. My cousin. Know, I know what I'm finna shout out to you. Bless more day. You just don't. Black, you get black folks an inch and they take a man. Where's my uh? Shout out to my homie Tori. <laughs> Number one bullshit. Shout out man. to my homie Jihai. He just had a birthday. <laughs> I'm still going. Shout out to my homegirl Nas. Shout out to my cousin Berg that called that called Lee Big Forty. He just had a birthday yesterday too. I, I got a lot of people got birthdays. It's birthday central right now. <laughs> hey, shout out to my auntie and her husband, man. They uh. They are uh, anniversary today. My auntie Sandra birthday, and my uncle Robert. Happy birthday, man, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy birthday, bro. I love everybody. Big 40. That shit's sick with me. The show. Man, man, that shit man hey. Me. Come on, don't understand what that shit means. Man, because, because, hey, because I'm in the system right now, man. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, because I'm in the system, man. God damn it. That's no, why I got to give him a big shout-out. Big love, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Big shout-out. Free my dog, man. Fuck y'all. Yes, sir. Fuck y'all. Fuck DOC. Fuck y'all. <laughs> he said free until it's, until it's reverse. He free. You did. Yeah. Free him till I see him. You did. Free until I see him. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrap it up music from Cho. He tripped. All right, guys. <laughs> that, that section of the podcast. And we're back. Now we're back to the Chubb. And we're back. We're back. <laughs> Hey, so, so Chubb, man, you know, appreciate you for tapping in with us. As I said, for the people yes, that just tapping in, this man is a black owned business Thanks. creator. I mean, app, black owned yeah. app more, more than that, entrepreneur. Yeah, other than, that, other than app, I chose, uh, I chose Chubb. Chubb, let them know a little bit of what else you do other than the app. I mean, we're here to really highlight the app because we always running promo and. And letting yeah. you know that the the biggest events is coming up on the app and everything, but he, you do more than that, right? Okay, so um, actually in the background, I have a um, a record company, a publishing company, um, deal with models and fashion and things like that. I also mentor and help other businesses and other companies to grow. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the booking agency, you know, media company. I'm a journalist as well. You know, so. Basically, everything that encompasses the music In industry, business world. industry, mm-hmm. entertainment world, hey, made it the point hey, to start hey, from A to Z. Hey, yeah. And so hey, there's some other hey, things hey, in the background that I'm not speaking about, but yes, um, I've also been into the real estate and the insurance and things like that as well, investment yeah. areas. So, I'm yeah, and just begin to bring all those things together. Mm-hmm. Man, so... Hey. If you want to holler at me, if you want to holler at me after, you know, offline about that investment piece, you know, I'm I, financial lead, man. That's my name. <laughs> Definitely. Already. Hey, you already. You know I'm that. Hey. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yep. Hey. That's right. So we can hey, do man, that. You know, we can do that. I want I want to ask you something off the top. You know, we got a structure of things, but I want to ask you something just off the top of the dome, you know, coming from the States, you know what I'm saying? Black young mm-hmm. man coming from the States. What gave you that drive to create and do the things that you're doing over there in Germany right now? You know, actually, I would say I feel like it comes from a lot of things. It was um, growing up at home from a good parents, you know, good mom and all that kind of stuff like that. You know, at the same time, even though my mom then was good, had me in church, you know, they gave me the, the typical drug problem, drug me to church. Drug me to Sunday school. Hey, <laughs> drug me to Bible study. <laughs> drug me to the ocean before. Hey, drug- hey, outside of that, yeah, outside of that, I was still in the street. Yep. You know? Yeah. And then the street was like, um, was always calling my name. And that was a fun life. But I, while I was pretty deep doing things in the street, out there hanging out there and doing whatever, I was realizing and seeing, you know what? this is not what I want to put on my parents. And that's not what I want to put on myself because I had cousins that were older than me. They were like brothers to me. And they said, you see how we, what we were doing. Don't grow up and be like us. Do something different. And then my grandmother would always say, you see that guy right there? He got that house. He was in the army. 
got they got that car. He was in the army. Now mm. they had a house and stuff like that too. But she didn't point out that stuff. She pointed out the other things, just so yeah. she could let me know that's a different yeah. route. So exactly. before the streets caught up to me, mm. I was blessed to be told, you know, to be advised. I'm gonna put it straight. A, a, a DT came up and said, "Young blood, you're being watched," and I felt like there was a guardian angel saying, "I need to make a move." And when Change. I made that move, I went into the army, and I didn't look back. I, I went in, did my thing, worked, and I would listen to a lot of the people that were older than me, and they would always say things like, "Well, not all of them, but most of them would say things." If I would have done that back then, I wish I would have done that back then. If I could go back and do this, I would say, you know what? I'm not going to be telling myself that. The worst thing I say you can do in life is to end up saying everything that you wish you could have done or you would have done different or to just not try. I figure mm -hmm. I'd rather fail yep. than yep. to not try. Yep. You know? Hey, yep. hey, hey, Chubb, I want to take a break one quick. I want to send a shout out to my Class made big old one shit, you know what I'm saying? My sister, you know what I'm saying? My my homie from yeah, high sure. school. Yeah, there uh, we go. Valentina Smith, man. She just uh downloaded the Chubb Show app and she posted it in my inbox because she couldn't upload it under the post. So she said this mm -hmm. to all of y'all, you know what I'm saying? And she appreciate you know what we got going on. So we appreciate it. I'm, I'm I'm gonna get her right because I'm hey, going home tomorrow. <laughs> You, you on the list. You getting hurt. Yeah, put on the list. Hey, so, hey, y'all keep it coming, man. Look, y'all keep it coming, man. That means that people paying yep. attention. So, as we said, the, okay, download the, show app, the, the, the thing that's strolling at the bottom of the screen, you download mm -hmm. that screenshot it to my personal, Cho Chellas. Screenshot it to me and my inbox. We yeah, if you're watching from my page, hit me up. We one down and four to go. You know what I'm saying? I will be in the town this weekend. So if you're in the Memphis area, you can get it there quick. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the house and the house. Like loud. Uh, we're going to get this shit uh, like still popping, man. That was a good answer to that, uh, to that Chub. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know, like long, it was real. That's what it was, you know? And how long I didn't did want, it take? I didn't want my foolishness hey. to fall back on my parents. You know what I'm saying? They put mm -hmm. in too much hard work to keep me out of trouble. So when I took, mm -hmm. I said, you know what? I got to stay out of trouble. Yeah. Right up. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Shit. Yeah, that, 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 hey, look, if, if that don't sound like the reason why I joined the goddamn army, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chubb. Hey, Chubb. Yes, how, how long did you take uh, to develop the app from concept to launch? No, nah, he already asked that. No, we, we didn't. Well, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, we did. yeah, we did. But I, I can still let you know again on that, like that, because I did say, you know, around 2014, I already had the idea. It took yeah. me eight weeks to put it together. But as far as the actual work, <clears throat> you know, a lot of times people don't understand when you're sitting around and thinking, like, a lot of time my work day looked like, I'm going to show you my work day a lot of times. It looked like this. <laughs> that boy look like CEO got it over there, <laughs> you know. And so we can turn. And while I'm sitting there, I'm actually I'm you. writing concept. I'm figuring things out because I found move, it guys. takes me too much time to write everything down and and hey, retain ideas. So I do that, and then by the time I got finished, WD forty, that was already developed in my brain. I just had to do it. That was all. Okay, you know that's what's up. Mm -hmm. Um, any challenges you face during the development process? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> yeah. <laughs> the first challenge was when I, the reason why I didn't do the app and bring it out in 2014 because the idea wasn't for an app. I wanted to have a, a software, you know, with a full with a full database and everything else. Mm -hmm. And I went to a company, then I went to another company. Then I went to another company and another company, and they gave me ranges from five million to fifty million. And I didn't have that, <laughs> right? So I was like, I got to start figuring this out myself. So I started developing websites, 
messing around with some HTLM and all kind of other stuff and the different mm -hmm. programming tools and just trial and error and having some fun. Then, yeah. you know, along the way, we're gonna move, we're gonna skip it up some. I started doing the videos, the shows, the actual chub show as it is. And I wanted to deliver my the TV show first off to YouTube. Now you gotta think, I wanted to put the chub show up on YouTube in 2014, but they didn't allow me to do that. Well, they did, but they wanted me to give them, I received the email that I should send them my contacts information for everybody because you know how they would pause the videos and yeah. i'm not gonna get too tough into that but i know djs play music from everybody i was trying to figure out you know long story yeah. short i kept looking for different outlets right so i was like i can't put this on youtube you know and it all of these little challenges made me find new outlets but i was thankful for the challenges because the challenges forced me to rethink my idea and to become more independent. So I understood if I'm, if I'm dependent on one platform, then I'm stuck. So I began to spread the chub shot on different platforms, use different tools from different places. So, and that became sort of a protection for things like um, a server falling out, dropping out, or maybe getting hacked into or whatever the case may be. If one element got hit, that could possibly be a two. But if yeah. a lot of different elements get hit, then you know somebody's attacking you, right? Yeah. Which yeah. also they you know how to move to, right? So I, I had a lot of challenges on the way, you know, and not only that, okay. there was also a thing of going to and finding out, finding companies that could do the work that I needed done because it's kind of hard to explain to somebody, can you do this and they like but that don't exist yet we don't do that how how are we going to do that yeah and then it was just figuring it out you know man what type of then, brain do you way. ever have to, <laughs> to, to to deal with all this shit this complicated shit that come with um the, this app thing that you do because I know, like, my patience is about this big, bro. <laughs> like, anything anything computer-wise, I swear to God, like, nigga, I ain't, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm quick to sway away from it, you know? So I feel yeah, like, right. you know, with you having so much interest and so much knowledge of what to do with an app, how to create an app, how to involve other people um, in the app, like, for us artists, food, entertainment, stuff like that, without giving too much of the game, like, how do you plan to monetize the app eventually? Because right. with, with the traffic you're getting, it's going to happen. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, you the thing is, we, we're not doing any advertising where Thank anybody has to pay for anything. So what we're doing is, when we sell tickets to events, because we have our own event platform, and every time we sell tickets to events, we make money, right? Yeah. Then we have businesses that come up, and they want to do advertisement, so they pay us, they pay us for advertisement, to advertise their companies, you know? And then of course we have sponsors that come in who want things like that. And then of course the groups, um, when people are working directly with us, they get special deals on the groups, but the groups and other services cost money too. So the app is actually, you know, making its own money. You know, of course we'd be thankful to make some more. So if you got any, you know, um, <laughs> sponsors out there or people that want to advertise. Try this way my you know, way. Yes, sir. You know, <laughs> and, um, swing, swing towards the show, uh, swing towards the uh, the chub. Yeah. You know, and investors, we appreciate y'all. We got you know several offers for that too. We're not looking for investors though. You know, but uh, That's what's up? sponsors, you are welcome. You know, we are looking now, to keep it going. You can turn though. Sponsor, though. What's that? I said we are keeping it. We are looking to keep it growing though. So everybody that's tuned in. You know, if you mess with this HOG shit the long way, man, check out the thing that's scrolling across the bottom and go download the app. The first five people that's doing it, we give an exclusive merch mm -hmm. to you. You know what I'm saying? We got one down, four to go. So y'all don't be shy. Get in there. Mm -mm, don't skip out on your blessing. <laughs> on. We're, looking forward to, we're looking forward to taking and having flying people from different company countries to come over here again. and visit Europe and to, to visit our events. Those are some of the things we're looking forward to. So, like travel agencies and things like that, we got an open door to work with y'all. You know, man. If, hey, listen. So we're, yeah. We're saying <laughs> that. We're saying that. I got a cousin 
I ain't gonna put her name after the two fight yet because she got she structured already. But she got ready to hit the ground running, so we yeah, already connected to that. So any artist, I want to get this out before we continue this conversation. Any artist that feel like, oh, it's too expensive to go to Germany or, you know what I'm saying, this and that, don't think mm -hmm. that because I got some people right. that I'm connected with that can mm -hmm. help you get there and it'll be feasible for you. It'll be yeah. a great experience and you'll be able to expand yeah. your brand, you know what I'm saying? And you'll be able to yeah. connect with us, man. <laughs> yeah. right up. And you know right what? Up. I want to say something to that too. Anybody who comes to Germany and spends time here, when I was running the street, I never thought that I had the mental aptitude or fortitude or whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. to learn a foreign language. But once I got here, I figured out I could learn another language, speak it, read it and write it, which let me know a lot of things about myself. Like when you stay in your own environment, same environment all the time, doing the exact same thing, yeah. it's really, really hard for you to kind of figure out who you are because the environment begins to kind of dictate who you are. Yeah. Who you shit, man. Find out who you are. Up there in the M in the boat listening. I hope y'all listening. Right. Listen to what he's saying, man. <laughs> Listen to what he's yeah. saying, man. He said it's real hard to change <laughs> when you're doing the same thing. Yes, every sir. Day. And the same the people line. lying to you about your music. Oh, your shit bumping. Yep. Oh, you gotta take it. You gotta take it out of your comfort zone. They didn't give you the five dollars. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, when you have a lot of artists, right? This is a mistake that I've seen a lot of artists make. They'll go to, let's say, we'll take a discotheque, a club. This club is packed every week. It's got a thousand, two thousand, three thousand people in this club every week. Yes. Artists get a chance because you know the DJ to go perform at the club, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe he even paid to play. You know, they do that too. Now he get up there and say to homeboy, "Oh man, I I rocked the club. I packed the club. It was full, bro. They were full if you didn't show up." <laughs> you need to go to where nobody's at and see if they're gonna come where you at to find your following because those people that was part of because they wanted to be at the club they come every week so a lot of artists are fooling themselves make it a point to find out what your following is and Shut and up. do something different too don't take and only go to places where there's 100 people because you might get an opportunity to perform where there's 10 people and you don't know who one of those 10 people are. It could be yeah, one person man. out of those 10 people to make a difference in your life. Mm -hmm. Hey, you so know what? Me. You know what that, I want to talk to? You that know what I want to be excited. Mm -hmm. What's I that? I want to punch on that, uh, you know, with the HOG brand, like, yo, yo, your fans going to definitely cheat on you for real. Like, <laughs> you know, about, like when, I was, when I was really in, on stage front and performing mm -hmm. i love to get i love getting in front of crowds that try to act like like oh you ain't really talking about nothing or oh you ain't on what i'm on and then by the end of your segment like they all the way close to the stage i loved yep. like engaging with people like that you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but, that's right um, that's right but you said a mouthful right there and getting back into uh what we here for uh, have you conducted market market uh, a market research or user testing for your app so far? Yes, yes, actually I have. You know, um, and from looking at marketing companies and marketing agencies and things like that. Yeah, I'm not gonna say too much because I don't want to put too much out there for other people that may be listening that uh -huh. might call it a competition. Because right now most people don't understand what's going on. Like, hey, mom, mm -hmm. it's like. And, and when people go to the app, I'm going to say this before I get into what you just said, answer the question. People go in and say, I don't get it. it. It's not a lot of information there. That's on purpose. Because some people tell the entire business plan on the internet, and then they wonder why everybody's doing exactly what they're doing. So I chose <laughs> not to do that. If you want to get information, you got to come in, you got to come sit down and talk to me or somebody in, in turn. Get that, so, get that NDA on there. <laughs> yes, sir. So what you say? Research. We've been able to find out that a lot of the companies are not really doing, you know, what we're doing. And because they're not doing what they're doing, our turnover and our, our customer base, the use of our product and the apps and things like that is a lot different. It, it shows a lot more. I'm going to give you an example. The app right now, I've been on, on Instagram and Facebook and several other major platforms for about two years longer than 
I've built the Chub Show app. But within the Chub Show app, we've got double the amount of people in the app than we have on our platforms, on the social media platforms, right? Yeah. So think about that now. Those social media platforms have billions of people, right? Mm -hmm. How can we, in a shorter amount of time, have double the people on our own platform? Mm. Looking at when we post, a lot of people are supposed to see our posts on those platforms. But evidently they're not. So how can we, without having done any major advertisement or any major marketing, have double the people on our own platform? And they have to leave and come to a brand new place that they've never seen before. Thanks. So please tell uh, them uh, I don't mean to cut you out, but please let them know the difference between your followers, people that you know was on your timeline, seeing you make a post. Oh, yeah. On Chub Show yeah. app versus a lot of these other social media platforms. Yes, sir. You so, make a post no, that's something important to you, you put it out there, and then some people be like, oh, I didn't know. But, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. You know, now, when you post it on regular social media normally for you to be seen first or we know they have an algorithm and they expect you to post so many times and all that posting is actually so they can make advertisement based off of your content you know or either get you to pay for advertisement now you post and maybe you've got a thousand followers but there may be only 10 likes on your post or maybe there maybe a hundred and those people may have only viewed your post but they didn't engage with it. They didn't really pay much attention to it, right? They just kind of scroll past it and now you got a view. So now in the Chubshow app, let's say you post something. Since there is no algorithm and you don't have to post every single day or you don't have to post at regular intervals in order to get an engagement, when you post, everyone can see your post. That's one thing. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. Eric can see post. But another thing is, People are not forced to have to like your content. They're not forced to have to leave a comment. They look at it, they engage with that, and then you may think, nobody's paying attention to what I'm doing. Then they turn around and say, and God and I, we experience this a lot. Oh man, I know y'all got this show going on. Um, what, when we're gonna be to come over? When can we do this? Come we on, just take it. Well, you know, it, it's a whole different ball game because they don't have to like. So you may be in the Chubb Show app and you may have a hundred and something, two, three hundred people are more looking at your content and in, it may be even somehow engaging with it, opening it up, reading it or whatever, watching your videos. Mm -hmm. But you won't see that. Another thing is once you post in the Chubb Show app, the way it was created is if you're a content creator, if you're a, a YouTuber or whatever you are and you take and post uh, your artist and you post your YouTube video your YouTube video will get views and clicks even though you're looking at it in the Chub Show app. Yeah. So we made it that way so that people that come in and find your content, it still caters to your growth. So you're winning the growth off of the Chub Show community as well. Let's and go. now, and when you take a YouTube, normally people can just write you in an open, open text or they have trouble writing you back with an app. If you put your information there, they can contact you directly. So if you're looking yeah. to get booked, somebody clicks on your profile and say, man, I like your content. I want to give you a call. Can we call out? You know, <laughs> how can we get you in on the booking? You yeah. know, they there see a go. model. They say, well, I can get you in our video. You try you to know, get onto the HLG podcast. Go go through the Chub Show app and, right. and, and book yourself. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hey, can y'all get all the yeah, information? You got to go through the middle, man. Y'all get, right. get all the information at the end of the show. On how mm -hmm. to contact us to get on, cut I'm the middleman out and gonna come on in. Hey, Chug, what's some feedback yeah. that you receiving from your users so far? Like for us, like the app, you know, the technical things and stuff like that. What you hearing yeah. most of your people that's having problems say about the app? Problems or solutions, you know. Right. Well, until now, when I try to think of a problem, until now I haven't had any actual problems. Other than on some of the older phones, sometimes people have had, um, I've, it seemed that we have this fixed now because I haven't had this problem, I guess, about the last two months, right? Mm -hmm. Where people would log into the app and then 
they'd be like, they couldn't get any further. They wouldn't get an OTP. So the OTP mm -hmm. will go to the spam folder. And what they would try to do is go into the spam folder and get the OTP to get it to work, but that wouldn't work for them and get the link. So they yeah. had to move that out of the spam folder into the inbox to get to that, yeah. right? Yeah. And other than that, we haven't had anything because most people are still looking at the app and working to figure out how to really use the app to the fullest because it's still pretty new to them, you know? Okay. And, um, but yeah, we haven't had any, any, any complaints or anything or nobody just, you know, the app is, everyone's having a good time. Well, you that's know? a blessing. They just looking for more and more events. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we do plan on doing 150 hey. events this year. 150 hey. events, that's the idea. Speaking of events, I gotta pop this one up because we got coming up. But y'all, y'all got ahead. very we keep we I keep go ahead. I got a question. I got a go question. Ahead. Go ahead. But it ain't a question. It, it, it's 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 a statement. My my question is a question about it's probably the question that's gonna answer why the tub show app came about but go ahead run a promo then we'll come back <laughs> hey, Mom. Yeah, so, yeah, we got a uh we got a couple of uh events coming up we got a lot of events coming up so if, if you want to really see just download the chub show app and go to events and you can see everything but we got like something right. coming up next weekend april the 6th april the 6th we got the space tournament coming up y'all we we providing providing a service that we really want y'all to tap into like we, it takes it takes time to make these graphics it, it, and we have everybody in mind when we yeah. doing these graphics and, and making this type of things available it's going to be dope the way that it's being filmed and shot is going to be a dope thing so that's the space tournament april the 6th you need to sign up early that's and that's one of the main things we keep telling everybody Sign up early. Sign up early. You have never went to a family reunion or anything and expected food, and nobody knew how many people was going to be there. Like preparation is everything. Right. Preparation gives us the opportunity to provide the best type of service, the best type of benefits for you to enjoy that environment that we are creating. You know what I mean? The food, snacks. And for this event, particularly and more others, we have unlimited uh, soft drinks and little snacks and stuff. Like you can't go to a club and like, let me get a cola for free. Okay, now okay. now I'm the cola. Let me get the sprite. Now I'm done with the, the sprite. Let me get a mango mix. Let me get a bag of pretzels. Let me get a bag. Of, it's in the price. Man, so shout out there to enjoy yeah. yourself, man. This is a part of the Chub Show app. We always been doing things that 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 benefits the the public in so much of a special way you know what i mean that we want y'all to open your eyes and realize that a lot of these places you know what i mean they charging you they overcharge you to walk into the establishment and they won't offer any type of benefits or customer appreciation you can get a 365 day but not one day where they offer you such and such at a discounted rate out of appreciation right. we coming through the right. door with appreciation that's right so that's right. This, hey, this, space tournament, this space tournament is, is you know you sign up sign your team up you don't get a ticket through the app so if you want to be a player go to the app purchase a ticket for a player when you purchase that ticket it is for that's two right. people it's not for one person hey man i want to look I I want to give a shout out to our uh, Instagram fam that's following us, man. Uh, my boy, uh, Bass Boy for Life, man. My boy CJ, he a librarian. Oh, he, he stay educated. I mean, he stay fucking with me and shit like, but he's <laughs> my motivation. Look what he takes. My boy said, I'm going to say, say this. And the only reason I'm going to say this because I fuck with this man and I know he ain't meaning this shit in a way. He just always got some shit to say to keep me going. Come on, come he on said, he said <laughs> He said, he said, you need, he, he, first of all, he a Liberian, so he said, he ain't say you, he said, your nigga said, get out of my comfort zone and you might blow. I said, my nigga Cho done been, uh, the, 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 the done all that, and he still ain't blow. This nigga <laughs> that went to international and everything, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Persistently, <laughs> man. Shout out to my guy, man. Shout out to him. I see him on, on, on Instagram. 
Shout out yeah. to everybody on Instagram tuned in. I'm a bean head, dude. Hey, he looked like <laughs> he looked like Tori Lanez before he got the hair plants. Oh, oh Lord. Lord. Again. <laughs> Shout out to you, though, CJC. You know, 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 you like most people think that that artist game as a musician is just a sprint, yeah. but normally, you know, you got to take that time and put in that work. When you really look back to most artists that actually make it, the thing that people don't see is normally an artist works for at least 10 to 15 years before they actually make it to a level that they please with. People yeah. only see the time that once they got there, the last one or two years, maybe, but they don't see that time before. You got artists that start out when they're seven years old and they don't pop today. 25 you know right. so hey. it's, it's, you not know it's not a sprint it's not a it's a lot of things to, to piggyback out there there's a lot of things like that has to do with measuring shit too and like trying to compare yourself to people feeling yes. like you gotta move at the pace that other people move like like what my boy said though real right. talk i didn't done the shit that we talking about right now i didn't took it out the country with no deal i got a song like that but you know i i, I don't i don't fair i don't like flaunt that shit to people and stuff like that. I do it more than uh trying to motivate you motivate to step you. out that comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Me proving that I'm harder than a nigga that y'all doped up off of ain't my fight no more. You know what I'm saying? Like I got priorities. I got right. different other things that's going on, and it's still happening for me. You know, I could have been one of them artists that said, you know what, fuck my family and all this shit. I'm gonna get out here and hit the road, and I'm gonna get this bag. Fuck them, I'll come back to them. I chose the other route, you know what I'm saying? That's I chose easy. the power. That's easy, that way. That's easy, that's easy route. route. Hey, but like, that's check it route. out, right? So check it out, right? So I said I had a question. Okay. Yeah. So, too. Too. Mm-hmm. You know, you know me, man, and you know I know you. Yep. And so what I'm going to tell you is this, right? I've been in the room. I've been in, I've been in this room with some dudes like you some real oh right. you know, some real skilled dudes that some real smart dudes and 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 the one thing they always taught me was you have a sheepdog mentality and when you have that mentality yep that's how you maintain balance that's right so i that's I right. want you to tell me about how you feel about the sheepdog mentality. You know, the thing is, it, it goes off into that whole thing of when you understand how business works and when you understand how life works, because business is like a, it's a relationship. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people, they go through life with a, a messed up relationship. And when they, they don't understand the relationship, right? Starting out with the relationship and knowing how to take care of their partner, Right? If they can't take care of a relationship, they can't take care of a team. They can't take care of a business. They can't take care of mm-hmm. employees. And I only like that word employees, right? Mm-hmm. So it, it, it's like I always look at things a little bit in a different way because after going and being in the military, after going through the combat and the wars and stuff, God is all I took and all in the building, I have man. People, DJ Ball know, have in the people. building, man. Shout out, Ball. Yep. So I have P- I have PTSD, right? So because of the PTSD, opposed to doing stuff that a lot of people was doing, I decided to work for my therapy. Not take no pills, not take no tablets. I decided to work. So I would sit around with four computers around me, five computers around me. And then I would take and I would do different businesses on each computer. Each computer was a different company, a different business. And this was the way I did the therapy. Like when Cho asked me the question, how does my brain work? The way I would do is, if I had problems to focus on anything, I would give myself a plan of what I was going to do. I wouldn't write it down, but I knew these were my tasks that needed to get done for a day. And with every company, I said, I need to do at least three tasks a day. And by giving myself three tasks a day, I was able to be successful every day because every day I could succeed with those three tasks. So when it was different companies, it turned out to be 15 tasks, which was putting me ahead, right? Now, if I'm doing that, somebody else who comes in who's having challenges, 
they may be able to say, you know what? I may not be able to remember anything. I may not be able to learn anything, but I can copy. I can look and I can see. I can do the same thing. Yeah. So if that, without going too far, was that um kind of what you was looking for? Yeah. Yep. 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 That's exactly what I was looking for. People don't, people don't understand that. People don't people don't understand that mentality. That that mentality to where you know that you have something unique and you can give it. But people yeah. want to take advantage. And then my whole thing right. is the sheepdog mentality is I'm a motherfucker. I, I'm smart enough to realize when you're trying to play somebody that got something that you want. Right. Right. So I I'll, I'll, I'll protect that person. Yes, sir. Even if, even if they don't realize they being protected. Right. That's right. That's what I feel like you doing with this app. Mm -hmm. Because right. Facebook is gonna exploit you. Facebook is gonna exploit yes. you. Instagram is yep. gonna exploit you. Twitter is gonna exploit yep. you. The, yeah. job, the job show app is not gonna exploit you. And I love right. it. App, the job show app is gonna make you pay what you weigh, and then you're gonna get what you get. Mm -hmm. I love that you say that. Idea. I love that yep, you say that too because I feel like, you know, and I'm gonna speak for myself at this point, like, you know, uh the thing going on with the Diddy thing right now, and I've made a post and it wasn't a, a malice, you know, like or, or like trying to down our culture or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying, type post. But it's just mm -hmm. like it's the, the internet don't lose method, you know what I'm saying? On the yeah. church, that's okay, right. All of that should be monitored before. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't yep. promote no like this app that they do. Uh, we utilize it in the wrong ways a lot of the times. Like most of the mm -hmm. times, we, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's some shit that we gotta better ourselves on. And I'm talking to myself on that too. Not that I'm a messy motherfucker or like you know just caught off in that type of shit. But it's just like you know, it's certain shit, man, that people need to be uh, held accountable for, and we don't need right. to. It's not our fight to make sure they do that. It's they, it's they selves. You know what I'm saying? That's right. So, uh, That's right. And the thing, I got, is, mm -hmm. yeah, I got it. The next thing time. is, too, like what some I like something that y'all okay. do on the HRG podcast is policing our people up. You know, because mm -hmm. it, it's not happening enough. There's too many people that feel like they can't speak out or they can't say anything. I know some people lead quietly. You know, it, it's a thing of leading quietly too. Yeah, but in leaving quietly, that's saying okay, you may not be saying anything publicly, but you're doing something positive. Exactly. You know, the the problem is is what you just spoke about is you've got all these major platforms with all this reach, they're leading also quietly, but in the wrong direction. Yeah, and because it's being promoted, what has happened is it's that media syndrome, it's the news syndrome. Because it was said on the news, it must be true. So people, instead of being asked what they want, they're being told what they want. And then they're accepting that in a lot of cases. Not everyone, but a lot of people. Too many people are doing that. And hence you the know, problems we have today. You know what? And, and that's, you know, though the, these are the things that we talk about when, you know, we, we, we be trying to be, you know, because, man, these people will kill you if you tell the truth. You yes. understand what I'm saying? Yes. Like I was, I was, I was telling my sister in law today, like, 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 sis, you gotta understand something. Like, like, the the United States economy is like, uh, like, uh, last time I checked, it like a thirteen trillion dollar economy. Mm -hmm. There is like, um, there's like probably ten percent of people that's making like the bulk of that. 13 trillion you know that's america and, that's yeah. that's, now, that's america right yes yeah. america now, yeah and i want to say something on top of that if i can if i can interject i was sitting in, i was sitting in a meeting the other day right i was listening to someone and they was talking and they was talking to a guy that says he was trying to do something with, i shouldn't even say this i'm gonna skip that it was a whole bunch of money right and it was more right. money yeah. than most people can even imagine Right, yeah, that even mm -hmm. that one person could have, right? Let me check Facebook so when they see these Forbes lists and whatever, it's people that yeah. almost say they got more money than all the Forbes lists. <laughs> yeah. Lee, check, Lee. Lee, check, uh, Lee. 
check it, check the group real quick. So I got a. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, this, this is okay. pretty much our, our, our last three questions. We want to give you uh, to. And uh, yes, I'm, I'm gonna kick it off. Uh, my question is: How, how do you stand uh, to uh, stay competitive? You know what I mean in this market. Right. You know what? <clears throat> Actually, I'm hoping to get competitors in this market because mm -hmm. of the system that we're building is a fair system, mm -hmm. and by being really fair, the way we're doing it. If everyone is fair, there will be no losers, right? So the goal in the system in itself is to have a fair system. And I look and say, I dare you to copy it. Because <laughs> then you got to help other people. Yeah. You know? So that's the whole thing. So mm -hmm. anyone out there who wants to copy the system, I dare them to copy it. Go ahead. Help some more people because, see, we're focused on exclusive events. Helping people, our events normally in house is normally a maximum of a hundred people. Even though we've got rooms that holds a lot more, but a hundred people is the goal. So we can shake hands, we can treat you good, we can treat you well, we can get to know you, we can build a community, and and everyone can grow. We can do the online events and sell a billion tickets if that's what you want to buy, right? But if someone wants to copy it, please go ahead because now you're going to help a lot of people and that's what we need to do and while you're doing it treat them good mentor them and don't give them no bad stuff mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well, well, damn i can't find the horns fast enough <laughs> yes, what do you say treat them good <laughs> treat them good and don't give them no bullshit while you mentoring them that's what he that's said right. that's yes, what he that's said right. just in case y'all didn't hear it financial lead said it just like Chuck yes, sir, said Treat them good. And Treat don't give them no bullshit while you're mentoring them. So, Southern hospitality. Make yeah. sure the catfish yeah. the catfish hidden. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> the cornbread. <laughs> you got you to leave. <laughs> they don't understand what it means to be cornbread fed, right? But, hey, nah. look. We're going to close this thing out, man. And I'm, I'm going to tell you all this, right? So I've been a um I've been an advocate fan of Chubb for a real long time. You know, my brother, mm -hmm. my brother Cotty, you. you know, he tell me, you know, he tell me about people, he tell me about people that mean something. Yeah, only. You know, and <laughs> only. And, and 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 the first time I ain't I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. I gotta start it out with some funny shit. Shout the out the first art. time, the first time he ever got off the phone with me to talk to somebody else. It was, 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 it yeah, <laughs> they didn't wait for your response. <laughs> Rude no, boy. No. <laughs> you know, so why? Appreciate you. Know, That's love. Appreciate you. I'm like, okay, I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay. Chubb got to be an important dude, right? So then he's like, hey, bro. He said, hey, bro. He said, hey, bro. Chubb want to talk to you. He want to meet you. <laughs> then I, you know, so then I get this, you know, this this ultimate invitation is meeting and then, and then me and chub chop it up and then me and chub talking about all kind of shit that that you and us you and us as the you know ho hog podcast viewers ain't gonna talk about <laughs> but just understand that we None are team yet. spirits <laughs> in a whole different way <laughs> and so i was like okay now i know but so, to close it out listen mm -hmm. Sometimes you get a baguette and you spread a little bit of nunny on it. <laughs> hey, I got it. I'm finna hit the shit on you, bro. You got to right, right, right. <laughs> This <laughs> Your hat too tight, bro. Your hat too tight. That way. <laughs> Wrap up time for Gabby. 
head, head up a little bit. Hey, listen, listen, listen. I was some serious shit. Like I said, that yeah, was go ahead. You had, to, you had to do the funny shit. Listen, listen. Tub is Tub is probably probably like not even probably probably like one of the most smartest guys I've never met. I I, I listen. I'm you know I'm 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 by nature I'm an observer. You know I'm a fact finder. You know I believe in I believe in fairness, and you know I really don't care about how nobody feel about me. Um, and so when when you know I was brought to Chub and, and you know we chopped it up and I was I was like man this dude is he owns some shit you know and they was like okay we got to do this and we got to do that and I'm like bro I'm, I'm I'm with it all because Appreciate you know we we have we have for a long time you know we have been like the best of the best when it comes to music when it comes to writing this shit when it comes to performing this shit when it comes to playing this shit on instruments you know what i'm saying i, I know i know dudes that play the saxophone the trumpet the trombone you know mm-hmm. better than better than dudes you can name with their names on albums they played the trombone in years Woo. you know what i'm saying so it's like mm-hmm. when you when you meet a guy when you meet a guy that knew about the music and then you understand how you understand how he understands that shit ain't really fair and then it really ain't fair for us you know and he trying to he trying to fight that i was like yeah i'm all for that you know so we close this thing out saying i appreciate you show for what you're doing i bro. appreciate so y'all for everything, doing, bro. Yes, everything you're doing for for the culture you know because it's most mm-hmm. culture you know what i'm saying like People don't understand. We good at multiple different types of music. It ain't just rap. It ain't just yes, hip hop. That's right. Mm-hmm. You know that blues and R and B too. Blues mm-hmm. and rock and roll too. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate. Yes, sir. That's you. right. As we hey, I appreciate y'all, man. I really appreciate hey. the love. I appreciate what y'all are doing. Please keep up the great work. You know, H O G all day. Yes, sir. Hey, check it out. Before we get up at this juncture. Man, we got one more for you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, what advice will you give the inspiring okay. entrepreneurs looking to develop their own app as being an app creator? Mm-hmm. You know, I would say look outside of what you see around you and don't always think or feel like you have to come up with something new, right? Mm-hmm. You can take something and figure out, just put your own twist on it and make it authentic, mm-hmm. make it unique. It's too many people that's trying to go out and say, I have to make the next brand new thing, something that does not exist. But it's not always about something that does not exist. Sometimes right. it's about something that does exist, but has, um, that could be improved. I don't want to say that's flawed, mm-hmm. but it could be improved. Mm-hmm. Because if it's already working, look at it. We have cars now. They've been constantly improving cars over the years and they keep selling yep. and they're getting better and better and better. But then you have companies that come out and they create a new car brand, you know, that sells as well too. So it's not always about being making something new. Just be innovative, be authentic, but do something where you can look at yourself in the mirror, take some time to think, step outside of all of the, the news and the media and lay back, right? Mm-hmm. And, and get a new thought. Go somewhere, travel, visit a new country, right? Yeah. Read a different book, do something that you can do. And let your mind open up and say, you know what? Mm-hmm. This new. I'm, I'm gonna give you something. If you take right now, and you go to some country that you've never been to, I'm not even gonna give it a name. You go to a country you've never been to, so and you put a they're... dish on the table that you've <laughs> never eaten before, and you look at that and you're like, man, it looks good, right? right? And then you bite off into it, and you say, it looks sweet, like a donut. But then you bite off and it's nice, it's real greasy, and it's real sweet at the same time. You say, I don't want to eat that, right? right? But you like the way it look. Now, what can you take from that? I like the way it looked. It, I was sold on the way it looked, mm-hmm. but I was not sold on the taste. So why don't I create something that looks just like that and make it taste better? 
Ooh, he said, sound, like, sound like Orly Kitchen. Big game. Big game. Man. Look, with that being said, hey, yeah. with that being said, Chubb, we want to appreciate you. We want to salute you. We want to give you your flowers while you're here. Let yes, you know sir. that we know that you're a hard black, uh, hey, a hard yeah. working black man, man. You know, you're a hard you, working sir. black man. It ain't too many people that can mind boggle the things that you had to go through to create this app for people like us. Oh, yeah. So we want to let you know we appreciate you for that. We are, you always can pop in and stop by. I know you're a busy man. Uh, I hope Thank to see you. you in tune when I come out there. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, we definitely. It up. So, oh, definitely. before we get up out of here, you when you come. Yeah, good stuff. Before we get up out of here, yeah, so you're good time. Good stuff for you. Yeah, you coming too. Yeah. You got to post yeah. that too. We got to uh, yeah, pull it up on the screen. Okay, yeah. let's pull it up very quick and then we're going to close it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, as you as as you guys know, you know we've been talking about this for a couple weeks now to months. Uh, oh, we're doing a world music fest out in Germany. That's gonna be June the fifteenth. It's sponsored by HOG, the Chubb Show. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, we're gonna be basically bringing Born life. CT and yeah. D Tilly. We got the homie DJ Problem Child. Yeah, he's a big baller. He tuned in right now. If you if he didn't know, he, you on there? Uh, <laughs> uh, DJ yeah, Crush Brew, DJ yeah. Crush Brew, Born Beast Barbecue, Urban Lover DJs yeah. connected to DJ Crush Groove, man. Straight and up. most importantly, the Chub Show app is the place where you get the tickets to I come know. be at the app. It is the place where you as an artist, no matter where you are in the world and you want to come through, you have to go to the Chub Show app, go to our event, World Music Fest. There is a sign-up form on there. Once you click on that event, the sign-up form is right there. You're not an artist performing unless you have filled out that form. I don't hey, care if you say, bro, I'm pulling up. Bro, <laughs> bro, I'm pulling up all you to do that to me to death. <laughs> If, if ain't no type of notification came through to me and Chubb that you have signed up, you non-existent. <laughs> so sign hey. up today. All music genres, not just hip-hop. If you got the drums and you want to, you know what I mean? If you're a rock band, we're not holding this to one genre of music. That's right. Please. And this, this, is, how we look, this is how we differentiate, differentiate from other people. Rock. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're a, if you're a DJ and you feel like you got a dope uh, 15 minute set, yeah, come on through. That's right. Let's, let's make something come special. Let's Diversity. make it happen. Hey, right. we it, hey we big networking, big politicking out here, man. Y'all know how we do it every yep. Friday. We don't know what we doing next Friday, but just know we got an archive. So pay attention to the promo mm -hmm. for the week, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know we, we coming hard. You know what I'm saying? We'll figure that out tonight. We got some team. Uh, but you know we gotta we have to go out like we came in. Yes, Shout out to our guest tonight, Ch Chubb. Get y'all glasses up. The guy that We're created a black app and an outlet source mm -hmm. type of thing for our people, man. He out there in Germany. Like I said, it ain't nothing but an email and a password. Y'all make sure y'all do that. Until mm -hmm. next Friday, y'all make sure y'all keep this shit prayed up. Man, papered up. And motherfucking pole up. Man. Hey, yes, keep it chubbed up right now. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> the chub boy, we out of there, man. Yes, sir. Please. What's up with the hoes? What's up with the hoes? Yes. What's up? What's up with the hoes? What's up with the hoes? Yes. What's up? What's up with the hoes? What's up with the hoes? Yes. What's up? What's up with the hoes? What's up with the hoes? Yes. I said pray, pray. I'm paper. They no pole. That's a moat. I stay pray, pray. I'm paper. They no pole. That's a moat. I stay pray, pray. I'm paper. They no pole. That's a moat. I stay pray. I'm paper in a pole, that's a mo. You know, Auntie Mama thumbing up. It's HOG, we coming up. They like, subscribe, and share. And it's about time we run these numbers up. Ain't nobody coming with the topics and the fly hitting. They be trying to duplicate the show. I guess they in they feeling. We don't care. Impact over likes is how we do it here. Come and get some gamers internationally spitting here. Minnesota and the Kansas. We got ties in Germany. Guests from Pakistan and Singapore. They rock with HOG. Like, subscribe, no. Notifications to all, like, subscribe, notifications.